What's up guys, welcome back to the Run With J channel. So the Nike Pegasus is back. So today we're gonna to be reviewing the Pegasus 38 to see how this shoe is, see if it's worth your money or if it's made any changes since last year's version. So if you guys are new to this channel, welcome. Please hit that like and subscribe button as well as the bell for notifications. And I wanna thank all my returning subscribers for their contribution and support. Let's get this review started. So we'll get started with the specs. So the Pegasus 38 was released late April of 2021. It costs $120, so it's one of Nike's cheaper uh, running shoes. It's their workhorse shoe, which you know you could use it for pretty much anything. You could use it for just casual walking around as well. And it's a great looking shoe in my opinion. Not much has changed from last year's version, except mainly the upper. Um, this shoe also weighs about 9.5 ounces for eight and a half, so the weight pretty much has stayed the same as well. The shoe also has a 10 millimeter offset with a 23 in the forefoot and 33 in the heel. This is one of Nike's most popular running shoes out there, and you'll see tons of colorways for this shoe. So this shoe that I have is the black, white, chlorine, blue, and metallic silver color. There's also a limited edition color out there, which celebrates the Pegasus legacy, and it's got like some crazy colorway on there. So if you're interested, and there's also going to be a fly ease version available as well as a wide version for people uh, with wider feet. So this shoe is made up of a few important components. This year you have the very plush, I guess, two ply a mesh knit upper here, which is very comfortable and breathable. Um, it's attached to the tongue, which is also very uh, breathable and it's a padded as well. So it's very comfortable. Um, there's also padding in the heel collar area as well as the Achilles area. Um, you have the midsole, which is full react foam, same as last year, as well as the air zoom unit in the forefoot to give you that extra bounce and responsiveness. There's also a heel collar in the back inside uh, to give you the stability. And on the bottom, you have that waffle weave pattern for the traction, which is similar to last year as well. So not much has really changed compared to last year. Seems like this year, Nike really just made some, you know, aesthetic changes to a lot of their shoes. And it's not like a radical new design for the line. Similar to Nike's Vaporfly Next% 2, where they just really redesigned the upper. This shoe this year also has a wider forefoot for the people that complained that last year was too shallow and small. So there's definitely enough room um, in the forefoot area for people. And I really enjoyed it. It's very comfortable. Definitely a step up from last year. Last year also had issues with being too stiff and also the tongue being too small. And also I had heel slippage some of the times while running. So uh, this shoe definitely corrected that with the redesigned upper and I really like it. You also feel very locked down once you tie the laces in this shoe, which is very different from last year's model, which I didn't really feel that. So I think Nike did a great job with this year's uh, version. So for $120, this is a great value for a shoe and it's on the lower end for price wise for Nike compared to all the other shoes that they have. It's a workhorse shoe. So it's made to kind of do everything. If you want a shoe that kind of does it all, this is definitely Definitely a good option. Um, you know, you could do long distance, you can do even speed work or just, you know, walk around in the shoe and it'll be fine. Um, it's not intended to be a racing shoe, so the weight, you know, it's a little bit on the higher side. So this shoe has pretty much stayed in its category of a do-it-all shoe and it, you know, hasn't really changed. Nike has other running shoes for other categories. If you're looking for a speed shoe or a racing shoe, there's definitely options for that. But at $120, Nike wants the shoe to be their workhorse. Um, so this shoe definitely is a great option for new uh, runners or looking or runners looking to get into running for the first time. So first run in this shoe, not much has really changed. It feels just like last year's model in my opinion. However, the big difference is the upper is definitely redesigned and I can definitely feel that. It feels a lot more comfortable. I feel more locked in and I have a lot more forefoot area, um, you know, for my toes. So, you know, definitely is a lot more comfortable ride. Um, but the ride itself is pretty much the same. It's the same foam, same air zoom unit that's in the front and same traction in the bottom of the shoe. So not really a lot has changed. Um, if you wanna, you know, I probably would use this shoe for basically just like a, uh, you know, slow recovery run shoe. 
or if I want to take a shoe out on, on a trip or something that could do everything, this shoe could probably definitely do that. Um, I actually use the Pegasus 35 still for like my everyday kind of walking, hiking, uh, you know, slow running shoe as well. So, you know, it's a shoe that serves very different purposes. And if you want a shoe that kind of does it all without, you know, breaking a bank, the shoe is definitely a great option. So if you don't want a shoe that's made specifically for like racing or speed work uh, you just want one pair of shoe or if you're on a budget and you just you don't want to buy up all of these you know different shoes for all purposes and this is a great option uh, at $120 you know it's not too expensive compared to other shoes out there and if you want even uh, you know cheaper option you can buy last year's version which is even heavily discounted now um, they're on the Nike website for about $100, but you could probably find it in the outlets for a lot less. So uh, if you want a, sh uh, a Pegasus but don't want to spend full price for it, you can definitely look to last year's model or even you know the 36 or even the 35, which you would find in the outlets. So overall, Nike did a great job of bringing back the concepts from the Pegasus 36 and putting it in the 38. Uh, the 37 seemed to be a miss with a lot of people with the heel slippage, four foot area, as well as the tongue. But I think this year's model, you know, went back to what people enjoyed. And I think they did a great job with the shoe. I still think this is one of the better looking shoes out there that you could use for pretty much everything, even walking around casually. I use my Pegasus on road trips and vacations sometimes um, just in case I need to run as well. So you kind of use this shoe for pretty much everything. Um, it is, you know, the do it all shoe. And that's what Nike intends for this shoe to be in this price range. So if you're in the market for a do-it-all kind of shoe and you don't want to buy maybe four or five different shoes for different purposes, um, I would say the Pegasus 38 is definitely a great option to look into. Also, if you're a new runner looking into, you know, getting a running shoe for the first time, I also recommend the Pegasus line to get into. Um, it's, you know, it's a great uh, shoe that's comfortable, has great traction, and does everything that you would need. Uh, for you and it also lasts a long time as well and for $120 it's not super expensive but it's also not on the very cheap side where it's not really giving you any you know benefits while running compared to some shoes that you probably could get under $100. It's got some you know good technology react foam is very solid and stable as well as the air zoom unit so it's, you know it's a great choice for an all-around shoe or a shoe for new runners. So thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you guys have the 38, I would love to hear how you guys like it or what you think last year's model was better. Or if you guys have any other comments or questions, please feel free to leave them down below. I hope you guys are all staying safe and your training is going well. And I'll talk to you guys on the next run.